accuracy, durability, performance. These are just some of the things that come to mind when you think of Trimble. But hey, you already knew that. So if you don't mind, we're gonna try something different. We brought in the Dirt Ninja to work his magic and build a one-of-a-kind track using our technology solutions for this guy. Professional freestyle motocross rider James Carter. And when the Dirt Ninja was done, we sat back and enjoyed the show. But we couldn't have done it without Trimble's advanced solutions like Sightworks with Tilt Compensation and Trimble Earthworks. And we used our tilt rotator like this, and like this, and like this. So James could do stuff like this. And this. And this. And we're glad we did, because we can't think of a better way to spend an afternoon. We are out in beautiful Berthoud, Colorado. We're making a track. We are building ramps. We're uh, learning what excavators do. It's pretty insane. I'm out here in Colorado with uh, Trimble and we're building a freestyle motocross course. Huge opportunity I feel for me and I, I love equipment. I love the way it works. So I started in the office with Trimble Business Center. I created the center line alignment for the track with all the whoop de doos and the jumps and the ramps. Balance the volume so I have a balanced cut fill site. And then we use site works and earthworks uh, to come out here and see where it was on the ground and then to build it. Seeing all this new technology with the, the Trimble app deal and you could see it all shaped up just by looking on your phone. We've spent about two full days building this track. If we had no machine control technology, I would guess that this probably would have taken us all week. I think for Trimble, actually, too, this is a big jump forward in trying to be more creative in how we show our products. My favorite part of today is just hands down watching James Carter. It's pretty cool to see him run on the track that, you know, the Trimble guys created, uh, me and some of the other Trimble guys built. It's just really cool to see it all come together. The last jump of the day being uh, jumping over the excavator with the bucket kind of higher up in the air. And it kind of looked scary at first, but took one test jump over it to make sure the height was good. And I feel like it, it all worked out and the shot's going to be insane. 